Hey guys, it's Blake with ChannelAndroid.com and today I'm going to do a quick look at Honeycomb on the HTC Flyer. I am using a Wi-Fi only 16 gig flyer and uh, it's if you've played with the flyer on the uh, gingerbread build that was currently out um, it might be worth taking a look at honeycomb on this device first off it is a little bit different than it was before if you have used the device before with a stylus the HTC scribe stylus uh, and you were to try and actually navigate through the screen with the stylus it would bring up a menu for uh, taking notes on top of whatever you were working on so they've changed the layout a little bit of how the stylus works based on some of the user reaction uh, something else you might notice of course we have the standard uh, honeycomb icons down here or not exactly the standard but the honeycomb icons with uh, HTC stylings um, and this battery is not the actual stock battery I'm running a custom ROM that is built off of the leaked build of uh, Honeycomb and let me just say that real quick if you go and you install this you are installing a leaked build that is not official it may be kind of beta although this does feel very polished and uh, you could break your device and you could ruin your warranty and all that good stuff so you may not want to do this but it's still worth taking a look at so all that being said it is a little bit different um, we can bring up the notifications here like uh, I have on some of the walkthroughs for um, some of the other tablets that I've played with um, nothing really mind-blowing here uh, it's pretty much standard honeycomb with some different icons and things um, we have the um, buttons normally right here on the gingerbread build and then right here as well depending on screen orientation but with this they do not light up they do not function it's like they're not there but you can't really see it in the video right here um, that's where the pin icon is if you're uh, if you if you have the device on you can see it's a little green icon it's not very bright and that's where you'll tap to do some of the pin options so if you wanted to do the, uh, the way that it used to be and access scribble basically it takes a screenshot and then you can write on top of it uh, that's what used to happen when you put the stylus onto the screen and you weren't in a uh, area where the, the the stylus was intended to be used but now uh, you can actually use the stylus as you would your finger which was not there before so and then you can hit save and let's just get go back home okay so like I said you can use the stylus as if you're using your finger um, we have a traditional app drawer icon that we've not seen on other honeycomb tablets um, and you see we have market search menu and it's got a side to side scrolling here uh, all frequent downloads nothing really out of this world on this but it is a uh, Is a little different than stock we have the personalized icon that you're familiar with if you used uh, an HTC phone uh, where you can hit the personalize button and then you can change scenes uh, wallpaper skin change the lock screen and this other stuff I won't go through all of it and of course just like on the phones you can do get more and that will allow you to download more scenes um, but there's not that many or skins rather and then of course we have the plus sign here like we do on other devices for uh, adding widgets to the screen uh, this pretty much has all of the 
widgets that you're used to seeing if you've had a HTC device as of late. we got plenty of calendars. Some of them are larger than the widgets on the phone, but it's pretty much the same widgets here as you would see if you were on a phone. Just a little bit of variation. We have some of the stock widgets on here still as well. So just kind of scroll through there and give you a quick look. Almost done. We have the get more icon up here for downloading more widgets. So yeah, it's Honeycomb with Sense and it's pretty much not that different from the Sense that we've seen on um, non-Honeycomb devices. It's very similar. Uh, we also have uh, this widget here is for Evernote that is built specifically for Sense so that uh, you can take notes. Um, of course you can hit the pin button here. If you haven't ever played with this before you can change what you're writing with. You can change the color. This is all, I mean pretty much the pin hasn't been changed at all. Uh, we're still dealing with basically the uh, same functionality on the pin except for the changes with using it on the home screen. So uh, overall it feels pretty good. This custom ROM feels a little bit smoother than the um, the leaked version that someone from HTC leaked out there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I prefer using Honeycomb on a tablet and you know you have a little bit of room lost here with the the bar that wasn't there before but uh, for the most part it feels nice hopefully it'll be even better by the time the uh, official build comes out so there you have it if you have a flyer you might want to check it out if you don't mind voiding your warranty and possibly breaking your device and if you don't have a flyer maybe this is enough to put you over the edge and make you want to get one so that'll do it for Honeycomb on the HTC Flyer from channelandroid.com.